So after test tool consideration, we need to know how to classify these test tools. So based on what we can classify the testing related tools. So this is going to be our second topic. So here we have to classify the test tools according to their purpose. So based on the purpose, we are going to classify the tools and the test activities they support. So based on the purpose, what they are serving or they are going to serve or what are they going to support based on that we are going to classify the test tools. So here first what we need to know is what is the purpose of classification based on what we are classifying. So for that we have five purposes. The first purpose is automating repetitive task, supporting manual testing, allowing, allowing consistent testing, automating execution and then increase the reliability of testing. So these are the five purposes. First one is to automate the repetitive task, then to support the manual testing activities, then to perform consistent testing, automating the execution process and the increasing the reliability. Let's see them in detail now. So the first one is automating the repetitive task. How we can do that? All the test activities that requires a lot of manual effort and are repetitive by nature shall be automated. During this or doing this will improve the efficiency of the test activities. If we do that, by doing this what we are doing is we are increasing the efficiency of the test activities. This is the first point that automating the repetitive task. So whatever we see that is repetitive throughout the project, we can plan and then we try to automate them. And for that we need the tool. So this is one of the purpose to automate the repetitive task. The second point, supporting manual activities. Sometimes it is not possible to automate each and everything. So there are certain things in the test project which are still in manual by nature or manually in nature or we are doing it manually right now. But we can use tool to support those manual activities. For example, tools like configuration management, defect management or test management tool can be used in manual testing environment to increase the efficiency of the test activities by supporting the test process. For example, regression testing. So what they are telling is if in your company you are doing a manual testing that is fine but to increase the efficiency of the manual testing what we can do is we can have a defect management system. So what will happen with that? If you have a defect management system then though you are performing uh, 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 manual testing but once you get the defect you can log that in the defect management tool and then the life cycle of the defect will be taken care by that tool. You don't have to track it again. You don't have to open the Excel sheet and see that whether the defect is closed, what is its status, nothing. You have a tool and that tool will take care of all these things. So that's why even if we are doing a manual testing, then we can have some tools that will help us in or which will uh, increase the efficiency of our manual testing. So this is the second tool. Uh, second uh, purpose supporting manual activities. Third one, allowing consistent testing. So here the automation tools are used. Okay, the output of these tools are consistent. So anytime you run this tool, the outcome is consistent. When we perform testing manually, sometime we may test all and each and everything, but Sometimes we may miss also certain things to measure. But if you run the automated tool, if the things are defined properly, they will be executed each and every time you use the tool. You no need to take care of the report formatting. So the way you have defined, that way only you will get the report every time. 
it's done automatically by the tool and it helps in maintaining the consistency so this is one example that for the report if we are doing manual testing then we have to prepare the manual uh, report and by doing that we may uh, change the formatting of that sheet or any such thing can happen but if you have a tool then whatever formatting you have defined for that tool the tool will generate a result in that format only so that way you will maintain the consistency so this is the third purpose allowing the consistent testing next automating the execution so this is a huge task if you have 800 900 test cases then executing each test case is a big job in that case what we can do is we can have a test execution tool most of the time test execution is one of the most repetitive and most time consuming activity if the test execution process is automated it improves the test efficiency to a great extent for example it's helpful for a large scale performance testing so for performance testing you have to give lot of data and that time it is difficult to test it manually and then we can go for a test execution tool and we can feed data to it and based on that the performance testing can be done so if you so this is the fourth purpose that if you want uh, you want to automate the execution process itself okay so that all the test cases can be run automatically one after other the last one increases reliability of testing okay if we use automation tool we can test the product with a wide range of input which is not possible when testing manually so as i said if you have a if you want to perform stress testing that time you need to provide a lot of data so that you really create a stress related environment and such type of environment is not possible or it's very difficult uh, to achieve using a manual testing and that time you need a automation testing tool and how it will uh, increase the reliability so quickly generate the if you use a data generator tool it will quickly generate the random names job titles and paragraph or text so different different combinations it will generate and then you can check the uh, reliability of your system or reliability of your testing so different type of uh, testing activity you can perform by doing that you are increasing the reliability of the testing process so these were the five purposes first one is automating the repetitive task supporting the manual testing allowing consistent testing automating the execution and increasing the reliability of testing so these are the five purposes which you need to remember moving further now comes the classification part so we have test activity here and we have the tools we have the tools which supports that that test activity let's see how suppose you have a test management activity you want to manage the testing activity that time what type of tools you will use obviously you will use the test management tool or the application management tool i said alm so test management tool or application management tool you can also use the requirement management tool for managing the requirement defect management tool for maintaining the defects configuration management tool for uh, controlling the versions and continuous integration tool especially in case of an agile project we need continuous integration tool to support the test management activity the application management tool is a all inclusive tool in which you will get at least these three things the requirement management is done in the application management tool defect management is done configuration management is done so all these things are can be done in a single application management tool whereas if you don't have this tool then you can go for a separate separate tool like requirement management defect management configuration management and as i said for the agile project you also need a continuous integration tool so these are the tools which we use for the test management next one static testing if you want to perform static testing that time you need the static analysis tool 
Next one is test design and implementation. So if you want to design your test cases or you want to implement the test cases, that time you need the model based testing tool. If you are doing a model based testing, then you need uh, a model based, model based testing tool or test data preparation tool. So if you have a different variance, then you can have a data preparation tool where you can store the data and during execution based on the project, the data will be taken and the execution will take place. So model based testing tool and test data preparation tool uh, are used for test design and implementation purpose. Next is test execution. So for test execution, we need obviously the test execution tool, then the coverage tool. So after execution, this coverage tool will provide how much test case we have completed and then test harnesses. Okay, for connecting for the for for connecting two or three systems or the subsystems, we need the test harness. And the last one for the performance management and dynamic analysis, what we need is we need a performance managed testing tool or a dynamic analysis tool. So if you want to measure the performance of the system or if you want to analyze the dynamic characteristics of the system, that time you need the dynamic analysis tool. So these are the test activities which you need to remember and you also have to remember the tools which we use for these activities. You can take a screenshot of this one for your future reference. Then the last one, tools used by developers and then tools used by the testers. So whatever I'm going to show now is what is, is what provided in the ISTQB syllabus. Based on that, this classification is done. So let's start with the tools used by developers. Continuous integration tool. So as I said, this tool is used in the Agile project and it is used by the developers. So continuous integration tool is used by developers. Static analysis tool. So static analysis tool is the tool which is used uh, during the static testing. And mostly static testing is done by the developer. So that is why this tool is also used by the developers. Coverage tool. So this tool is specifically used during the um, component testing and integration testing to see that how much cover, how much portion of the code is tested by that uh, particular test level. So this is coverage tool is also used by the developers. Test harnesses. Okay. This is also uh, a tool which is used by the developers. Dynamic analysis tool to see the memory leak and all those stuff. Uh, they use the dynamic analysis tool. So these are the tools which are used by the developers. Now tools used by the testers. It's quite simple test management tool or the application management tool for the management activities, requirement management tool, Defect management tool, configuration management tool, continuous management tool, continuous integration tool, and then model based testing tool, test data preparation tool, test execution tool, performance testing tool. So all these tools are used by the testers and these tools are used by the developers. So as a tip, you can just remember these are the tools which are used by the developers and all the remaining are used by the testers. Fine. So with this, the second topic also ends. Before we end this uh, topic, we can have a look into the question. So find the mismatch. You need to find the mismatch from where? By reading to, uh, by going through the options. Test data preparation tool. So what they're saying is there is a test data preparation tool. Is this tool used for manipulating the database? And yes, because the in the database, the data is there and based on our testing activity, we can manipulate that data. It's possible. So test data preparation tool can be used for manipulating the database. Test design tool generate test inputs. So design tool can generate the test input because uh, during the design, uh, this design tool is used for designing the test cases. And during that time, we can also mention the test inputs so it is possible all the inputs for the test is it may come from the test design tool c requirement management tool and enables individual test cases to be traceable 
yes the requirement management tool is a tool where we have the requirements and the, also the test cases so we can trace them so it helps us in, or it, it enables us or it enables the individual tests to be traceable last one is configuration management tools check for consistency so we don't use configuration management tool for the consistencies we use it for the version controlling okay not for the consistency check we are not using it for that so that's why option d is the answer now the last one some tools are geared more for developers use for the five tools listed which statement best de uh, details those for developers so we have some tools here and what they are asking is uh, after going through this we need to tell which of these tools are mostly used by the developers so we know performance testing tool is used by the tester so one is not the answer so option a is not the answer because we have one over there coverage measure measurement tool yes by the developer test comparator let's see then dynamic analysis tool yes by the developer defect management tool no it is by the uh, tester so three and four are the answer three and four sorry two and four so two and four is the answer that means option b is the answer so based on the page number 79 of the stqb syllabus if you go to this page then you will see that the performance testing tool test comparator and defect management tools are mainly used by the testers and the remaining one is used by the developers with this, we can end this lecture. Thank you.